Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play the Elder Scrolls Arena. Last time we got our first piece of the Staff of Chaos, hooray! And now we are going to go to the next area where we'll find something else that will lead us to the next Staff of Chaos. I forgot exactly what it is we're supposed to find. It's like a tablet or something? Something like that. Anyway, um, before you go in, I need to make a suggestion. Because this, if, if you don't follow this, then you will have a bad time. I'll just tell you that right now. There are certain um, uh, weapon... I think I have talked about this before, I'm not sure. But there are certain uh, weapon levels. You have like, uh, you know, steel, then silver, then mithril, then elven, etc, etc. Same goes with armor. Well, there's a certain enemy type that makes his first appearance here that, um, well... Anything below elven weapons don't work against it. Not at all. And uh, funny story, there is a bug in this program where for some reason they didn't program in damage with uh, fists to certain enemies. So if you decide to unequip your weapons and punch the guy, your game will crash. Unfortunately, up to this point I have not been able to get a higher tier weapon. However, I do have certain objects which allow me to cast fire and of course you can guess that this enemy appearing first in the Fortress of Ice is weak to fire, so either have a really good weapon or have the ability to cast fire. My suggestions to you. Anyway, without further ado. Let us shink the ground. Yeah, look at this brand new environment we got. Oh. And uh, just like those uh, wolf type characters that we encountered before. The uh, doom hounds or whatever that shoot fire, these ones shoot ice. And uh, my shield doesn't block against ice, so there's not much I can do about that except kill them. Actually, it does block really well against spells as a whole, so I shouldn't worry too much. So let's do some exploration. Kill these things. Yeah, they're really not doing that much damage. Yeah, I need to be careful because I don't want Aureal's shield to go away. I don't want it to, uh, die on me because that would be bad. Alright, let's see. I actually think I remember where I want to go. It actually should be just, um, barely west of where we started, but it's just kind of a long way around. But let me see if I can find it. guys. Yeah, I gotta be careful because uh, my character, as I've said before, not the best with magic uh, attacks. Alright. Let's see. Go up this way. And see what we can find. Big empty rooms, alright, my favorite. Nothing better than a big empty room. See any? No. I do believe I'm headed the right way, though. Oh. Oh, there's that enemy! Let me, uh, equip. Sorry, I, I realized I forgot to equip. Let's see, Mark of Wizard's Fire. So this is an ice golem, and it will block your way to getting into there, and you need to get in there. So I'll wait for it to come out. I actually need to heal. Let me save right here, too. Okay, it's kind of blocked, so... Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Oh, this is, uh... Yeah, see what happens when you try to hit them? Nothing happens. It just keeps blocking and blocking and blocking. Oh, I need to heal. And let's keep going with this. This is not being as effective as I hoped it would be, because it's supposed to be weak to fire. Oh, I 
I'm not supposed to cook with them. I want to kill them. Okay, there's one. Yeah, these things caused me troubles the first time I came here because I came here unprepared. Oh, I need to heal. Heal a little bit more. And you need to die. You need to die very, very badly. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so what I had to ended up doing, because I didn't know what was going on, the first time I went through this, I had to like kind of make my way around and I had to use that whole uh, crystal of pass wall thing to make a passage to get around them, because they kept blocking my path. But they're gone, so I'm going to rest and heal up. Yeah, see, one bad thing about trying to heal up against a wall where that has uh, more rooms behind it sometimes, the enemies will appear there, so I can't kill them, So I, but there's near enough where I can't rest either. Oh well, that's good enough. Should be good enough. Please let it be good enough. Hmm. What's going on with this room? Wow, really? Oh, not where I meant to click. Ah, oh, there's the blue dot. That's where I want to go. Seems that perhaps I wasted my uh, fireball spells, but oh well, I should have some more. What the? What's killing me? What? The, oh, you! Oh, come on. Yeah, the enemy's agility is getting a bit higher. There we go. Got it. Yeah, enemies, of course, will uh, get harder and harder and harder. Oh, jeez. Something's after me. I might have to just heal manually. I should probably repair those things soon, because my healing items are, have been used quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, this whole floor is big, but luckily I was able to find the... Uh, oh, jeez. I don't even know where I am, but uh, luckily I was able to find the way down quickly if I can pinpoint it. Oh, I'm right there. So that'll make this place easier. I'm betting there's like more treasure and stuff up there, but I'm not too worried about that for now. Alright, so this should go by pretty quickly. I might not have to make two episodes out of this. Wolves are annoying! Shut up! There we go. Nothing here. Seriously, shut up. What the? Oh, no, 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 not another one of you guys. Alright. Let's keep doing this. Oh. And that's gone, so let me see. I should, oh, please let, tell me I have another. Please tell me I have another. There we go. Jeez, I hate these things. Oh. That was the same one, and it's broken, so I can't use it anymore. Um. Crap. Crappity crap. Okay, here's what I'll do. Let's see, I need my... Where is it? There we go. So I'll start using this to get past that guy. Because I ran out of magic fire. I could have swore I had more, but I might have accidentally sold one of them. See, see what he does? He likes to block you. So you, if you create two uh, entrances, you can kind of get around them. And that wasn't even worth it. All I remember from my first time through is that uh, one of these guys blocked me from the tablet. Oh. 
this is not gonna hurt. Oh well. Can you keep following me? No? Good. Alright. Oh, those things are annoying. Considering getting uh, the uh, artifact sword that I wanted to get before this just for those ice golems, I was like, no, I have fire magic, I should be fine. Uh. Oh well. And I'm low on health, and those things are everywhere, so I can't rest. dreading is the labyrinthian, the dungeon after this, and you'll see why when we get there. Give you a hint, it's a labyrinth. <laughs> Alright. So where are we going? You, you, you. Things are everywhere. Man, they really amp up the difficulty. I'm starting to remember how hard this part was. Go get this. I got a dwarven longsword. That might be useful. I think dwarven is still below elven, but I'm not sure. So 4 to 18. And what I have equipped now is 3 to 16. That should be good. Nice. Finally got a better weapon. Let's uh move up. Oh. Gotcha. I think it wishes that they'd made a uh, you know more music for this game, like more dungeon music, because it's all the exact same. Like if they do make unique environments, and that's awesome, but uh, music uh, after I'm done with this, going to be playing a little bit more uh, Morrowind. I decided on that game, like I looked up like hacks and stuff. The one thing I'm going to do to uh, make things a bit more simple is I'm going to use the the simple hack that helps me transport to any town I want from any place I want. But I'm just going to make myself not uh, do it to a town that I haven't walked to manually first. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really have that much free time, you know, I can't spend so much time just walking and walking. And I know, like, later on there are spells and stuff to transport you, so hopefully I can use that. But uh, they just should have made the uh, fast travel a bit more convenient than having to go to a mage's guild or having to find a strider. Just gets frustrating. Oh well. Cause I remember my um, first playthrough, like I kind of quit after I got to a mission with the enemies. They like cast this spell on you when they hit you that makes it so all your items weigh you down. I didn't have anything to heal it and it was a long ways away so I was thinking crap now I have to go all the way back to a town and get it special potions that prevent that from happening and I was like, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> and I didn't play again for quite some time, but thanks to this let's play, I've picked it up again and I intend to finish it. I have all summer to do so and I will do so. Thank goodness for long uh, summers for my school. And you can die. Same with you. It's kind of creepy how their eyes like glow blue see nothing else. Whoa, what's with this place? I get the feeling we're on to something. Hmm. Maybe I can rest here. Or just do it on the screen. Oh, come on. 
as sometimes you don't even get a chance. And it's weird because um, the enemies that appear when you uh, rest are very random. It's like they don't even fit in with where you are. And of course, they appear in a place that's not right in front of me. <sighs> oh well. Well, another dead end there, so let's see. Let me actually go back north. Go left here. And go down here and go north. Haven't explored around here yet. Freaking wolves everywhere. Could they have made them more annoying? Yeah, someone was blocking me. Alright, there we go. Well, nothing in this room. Even if you find an entry room, make sure to check your map because it will actually show you if there's a secret door. I haven't been able to show you a secret door yet, but they're there. Here's more monies. More wolves everywhere. Can I heal now, please? No? Okay, I'll just use my item. I just hate using up items so much. Oh, yeah, great. Those are broken. See, that's why. Oh, well, I can get it repaired, I believe. Where the heck am I? Alright. How big is this floor, anyway? Dead end. Is it? Yeah, it's a dead end. Alright. Really? Nothing in here? More dead endish stuff? Alright, then I guess I get to go into that blank spot over there. That's perfectly fine. Just great. It's, you know, it's perfect. It's freaking perfect. Nah, I'm cool with it. I actually really like dungeon exploration. It's probably funner when you're the one actually doing it rather than just kind of watching someone else do it, but hey, I enjoy it, and uh, you'll get the satisfaction when I finally make it to where I'm heading. Just regular wolves. You can die. Like I was mentioning before, and this I accidentally made this mistake just earlier when I was about ready to record, that fists, for some reason, their damage isn't it wasn't programmed correctly. So there are certain enemies where you try to punch them, and the game just freezes and crashes, and yeah. Like that happened where I had accidentally... Oh. Hello there. Um, am I sure I want to go in there? But yeah, I accidentally used my fists to punch someone because I was uh, getting my sword repaired and the game crashed right when I had done, gotten a whole bunch of stuff done. Hmm. I believe I can open this. Oh. Might want to save first. I can probably pick lock. Yep. And luckily my Oriel shield is doing its job. I should probably Alright. Looks like just a regular treasure room. I don't think the tablet's in here. There we go. And. and I do believe uh, when it comes to weapons, there are certain. Um, enemies that are only able to be hurt by silver, so make sure to always keep a silver weapon handy. And we had a secret treasure room, but uh, the tablet was not there. And the tablet is what we want. It is what we desire. Did I see glowy eyes over there? Jeez. Yeah, you think this place is bad? Wait till we actually get to the Labyrinthian. There's a reason why it has that name. Oh, and I hate these. Oh, geez, there's a lot of them. Okay, come on. You can see me 
right now swiping my mouse around like an idiot. Okay, one more. And let's uh, heal. Oh, great, that didn't do much, did it? It's kind of random how much uh, certain items heal you. It's like between certain amounts. Well, they're all dead. Okay, can, can I finally rest just a little bit, please? Oh, there we go. That worked out very well. Yeah, sometimes they'll just go all by without anything happening. And dead end. Ooh, a treasure over here. Oh, I can pilfer this. I don't have to waste a... There we go. Yeah, I think uh, it does weigh your sword down quite a bit more to break it open like that. So if you can pilfer it, make sure to do so. I'm not a thief, but um, I forget which stat it is, but one stat uh, increases your pilfering skills, and my stats are up quite a bit. Hmm. I wonder what's there in the upper right. I probably should go to the west, but I don't want to see what's hiding up here. A dead end. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, alright. Well, we've cleared out a bunch of map. So I should find something more over here. Ah, more of this. It's pretty cool. Hmm. But no hidden doors. Wow, really? Is that all a dead end? that really oh my goodness really I don't want to use my pass wall so I'll tr meet you over here I'll try to get around from below man look at this look at all these dead ends this whole place is just one big dead end yeah I'll meet you over there okay so I at least made it to right here and it looks like there's still a bit more up in this area, but luckily I got past the freaking dead ends over there. Let's see. Oh, and good news, my Dwarven Sword does work on Ice Golems. So, that is a big plus. That was really lucky for me. So yeah, good stuff. And still more wolves. They won't shut up. You ever have a dog like that that just will never ever shut up and just keeps howling for no reason? And you just want to hit them with your sword until they die. Okay, well, not not that. Not that. That would be sad. I like puppies. But you don't want to... You know, they can get annoying. Let's find a trap in here. Come on. Oh, what's hitting me? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, see? Look, bam. Although it still has high agility, so it can still uh, dodge a few hits, but we got it. And I need some more healing. No enemies nearby? Ah. No, no enemies nearby? Crap. Freaking everywhere! But oh well. And another dead end, of course, but okay. Maybe something this way. Ooh, well, there's money. I always welcome money, even though I have. <laughs> I honestly think I have way too much money. Like I don't even know what I'm going to spend it on. I tried to like look at blacksmiths to see if they had any good weapons, but none of them did. Pretty uh, useless. At least for this part of the game. I think their inventory gets better as you get further into the game. Or maybe it's as you level up. Another dead end. In this place. Oh, just need to pass that. I'll get there eventually. You 
You just wait and see. You just wait and see. Oh, would you just shut up? Oh my goodness, look at this. I've almost cleared out the whole map. Just let's see. Oh. About this looks promising. Oh, I saw eyes. Or did I? Oh, this this definitely looks promising. Touch your face, I'm in your words, I'm lack of space, I'm beloved of earth. What am I? Well, you can guess that one. Air. That's an easy one. Yes, this is the guy that kept blocking me. This is the one right here. It took me forever to get past this guy. I don't even think I had passed one out to come to think of it. I think I just had to lead him around in a wide circle and then get around him. Because he kept blocking me. But, lo and behold, here is Tablet. So, now that I've found the Tablet, can I finally get to the Labyrinthine and get the second piece of the Staff of Chaos? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play the Elder Scrolls Arena, where I will exit this place off screen, luckily for you. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and have a good day.